Hi, everybody. This is uh, Craig with Quality Water Treatment, also known as Craig the Water Guy. Uh, we've been in business for over 30 years and been selling on the internet actually since 2021. Uh, I want to go over uh, comparison brands with you. These are the top selling brands across the board. So it can help you make a decision, uh, a better decision on what system is best for you. Uh, so I basically have done all the legwork for you here to uh, to help you out with that. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, please be patient with me. I might stumble over myself a little bit. This is a lot of data to go through in a short period of time. So. All right, so um, we're going to start out with uh, the quality of the build, which represents the experience design, repair, cost, and proprietary parts. As you can see here, we have uh, quite a few different systems here uh, going all the way to the big box brands that you buy from the regular stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Walmart, uh, and what have you not. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the Elite. Uh, we rate it as an E. That's a Soft Pro Elite. Um, it comes with a lifetime uh, technical support guarantee. So you could contact the company and go through it uh, with them, shoot videos, uh, whatever you need to do, and they will walk you through on how to repair the system. Just a side note here, folks, most of these systems generally don't have any issues, but if the time comes, it's nice to know that you do have uh, the ability to fix the system uh, for free or at a very minimal cost. Okay, that's part of this rating here. Okay, the GenFlow is the same thing, uh, same guarantee. The Quantum, same guarantee. The reason the Quantum is a B is because the valve body itself isn't quite as robust as the GenFlow and the Elite. Now, the GenFlow, the reason why it's an A is not because just of the valve body, but it also has a ceramic disc. So there's no spacer or seal kits that move up and down the side of the valve which has a lot of friction and wear over a period of time, uh, like a lot of these other systems have. Uh, the manufacturer also gives a lifetime warranty on those discs. So they're they're pretty robust. I doubt you'll ever have any issues with them. The Quantum also has that disc, but again, the valve body is not as good. The Flex 5600 SXT, it's a good valve, but it's been around forever. Uh, so we gave it a B because of that reason. It's just it's kind of outdated and antiquated. Uh, the collagen is a B. The valve is a good valve. Nothing wrong with the high efficiency uh, uh, collagen valve. But the problem with it, in my opinion, especially for, for the DIY type of person, uh, it, it's rated to be because of that, because it is proprietary. So you can't get parts or service on this valve unless you go to a collagen dealer. Okay. Uh, the Rev V4, the Ruxin. The Rev V4, this the Ruxin is the manufacturer of the control valve. Okay. Which is what GenFlow uses, as you can see, the valves are the same, all right? There's no difference there. Uh, we went ahead and rated it anyway because it is date rating with a ceramic disc that has a lifetime warranty on the ceramic disc. Now, uh, just getting off point here a little bit, if you're looking at these systems, they're sold under different brands. Uh, there is one person out there selling this system, just like the GenFlow, which is the Rungsa but they're uh, advertising that their systems uh, do and have the same high efficiency settings uh, and features that the SoftPro has. Uh, those features and benefits do not correspond with uh, third-party rating agencies as well as the manufacturer's data. So when you do, if you do find that, make sure you do your research and look at the GenFlow because the GenFlow actually has the data that is pulled straight from third-party rating companies and the manufacturers. It's true information. So enough said there. Uh, the Pelican is rated to be, uh, this, it's a good valve, uh, nothing wrong with it. Serviceability, we don't know because the Pelican is sold through different agency, uh, different companies that do install. So you may have to pay them to do any repairs. We don't know for sure though. The spring wells would be, uh, it, this is a Bluetooth valve. It's a good valve, but the valve body is very, very similar to the 5600 Black. Uh, Clack is rated A. It's a good valve. Nothing wrong with it. Um, the only thing with these is that they are sold by brick and mortar. You cannot buy them online anymore since 2010. So if you're going to get service on this, you're going to probably most likely have to pay somebody to do that. Connecticut, same thing as the Collegas proprietary. It's a good valve. 
uh, but uh, you will have to pay somebody to come out to service it and beat it. Uh, rain stops to be, uh, it's a decent valve, nothing wrong with it. Same idea though, serviceability, you got to pay somebody to do it. General Electric and all these big box stores uh, going all the way across here, all have dropped down to a C except for the Kenmore. Uh, manufacturer, what these companies do is they go to different manufacturers and they find the cheapest bid and they go with the cheapest to keep the price down. So the quality of the builds are usually lacking on those systems. True high efficiency. Now, a lot of these guys out there, they're advertising that, hey, our system's high efficiency, it's upflow. Well, upflow is only a small percentage, about 30% at best salt savings uh, for high efficiency. Uh, a true high efficiency valve has more than just upflow. It has all these other settings listed right here, plus more. SoftPro is the only high efficiency system out there. That's why it can save so much more salt, as you can see across the board. And the only one that actually saves you water. And if you're paying for your water, most of us do. We're on municipal water, especially. That that could be a huge savings for you across the board. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, home apps go, the only one on here is the call again. Uh, and uh, the other one would be, uh, actually, the call again is the only one, the home app. Uh, the Springwell is a Bluetooth only. Okay. Uh, valve warranties, uh, to me, valve warranties uh, on, or any warranty on a product, regardless of what it is, represents quality. It also represents the confidence that the manufacturer or the seller of the product has in that product. They're not going to give a really good warranty on it if they know from experience that they have issues with that product because they'll end up losing money on that, right? So to me, if you have a really good warranty, it represents that it's generally a really good product. Uh, the Soft Pro, the Quanta, GenFlow, and the Quantum all have lifetime on the, on the valves and the tanks. Fleck is five or 10 years. Uh, Colligan is five to 10 years, dependent on the valve that you get from them and lifetime on the tanks. Um, the Pelican is seven and 12. Springwell's lifetime across the board. Clack is 5 and 10. Connecticut is 10, 10. Brainsoft is 10, as lifetime across the board. They can afford to do this regardless because of the price they get for their systems because their overhead is so high because they're an in home type sales company. So they pay very high commissions to their salespeople. So, um, you know, they have to charge a lot. They do charge quite a bit, unfortunately, but that's just the way their business model is. But you as a consumer end up paying for that. Doesn't mean the valve is any better than any others. It's just a lot more expensive because of the overhead. Uh, the General Electric, uh, across the board here, what you're going to find is the warranty really goes down three years, one year, one year, three years, and then five years and 10 years on the Harmony because it's very similar to the Flex 5600 valve. But they use an inexpensive resin, 6%, as you can see down here, which I'll go over with in a second, which is a very low-grade resin. Uh, resin types... Resin types is, there's two most important features about a water softener. One is the control valve, because that's the heart of the system. That's the mechanical part of the system. That's the part that's going to help you save water and salt, depending on what kind of features it has, like the high efficiency features, upflow versus downflow, and so forth. The resin is the other physical part of the system that removes the hardness from the water. City water, 99% of the time, has chlorine or chloramines in it. Chlorine and chloramines are enemy number one to resins. It can tear them up, and they won't uh, they won't uh, perform as well under higher chlorine and chloramine conditions. Eight percent resins uh, won't last quite as long. Six percent definitely won't last very long. The ten percent is actually was manufactured to be more resistant against chlorine and chloramine and perform better. So it lasts much longer and it doesn't harm the performance of the resin bed. So you're going to be much happier with the 10% resin. The Soft Pro and the Gem Flow both come with 10%. These are uh, the, the uh, Flock 5600. Uh, most companies sell it with 8%. We sell it with 10%. Or you can purchase SST60 resin, which is a high efficiency resin that kind of make up for not being upflow. Uh, does give you some salt savings, but the resin's gotten so expensive over the years that the cost of the resin doesn't um, 
it doesn't make sense. The the savings that you're going to get for what the resin cost you extra, it, it, it's it's my dude. So I, I wouldn't even bother buying SST60 at this point as an add-on. Uh, a lot of these other, some of these other systems have 10%. Uh, so when you're getting to the Pelaga, they offer 10%. The rest of these are all 8%, except for the 6% on the Harmony that I just went over earlier. Okay. Uh, the soft water quick recharge, that's a high efficiency feature that only Soft Pro offers. Uh, the Smart Clean. The Smart Clean, what that is, is uh, if you leave the vacation mode off, it assists, the system says that you don't use water for seven days, it'll go into a three minute backwash to move the resin around, keep bacteria from growing. The only other system that has anything similar to that is Kinetico, uh, they're a twin demand system. Vacation mode, if you set the vacation mode, the system will not regenerate uh, regardless. So you can set a vacation mode. I highly recommend that you don't do that. You, you keep it off and you use the smart clean. Um, the large display screen, at multi-wide LCD, is just so you can look at the system at a glance and see what's going on with it, how many gallons you have left before regeneration, time of day, so forth, what have you not. There is only one, two, three, uh, four or five systems that have that. The rest of them are one line LE LCD. Uh, they're not, um, you know, it's not a real real dealer deal breaker as far as I'm concerned, but some people like to be able to just walk up to the system and see it and say, okay, well, I know exactly what's going on. Flow rates, uh, flow rates are important. The reason why flow rates are important is because even though if you don't have high flow fixtures in the house, uh, even your standard home uses three to six gallons per minute. If you have a valve and a system that's capable of, of giving you higher flow rates, that means your pressure loss in the house is going to be less uh, use of even those lower flow rates. So the Soft Pro is one inch all the way through, including the distributor tube inside the tank. 48,000 grade capacity. We base this on because that's the most popular size across the board here. It's 17 gallons per minute with a peak of uh, 19 gallons per minute. The Gen Flow uh, is a one inch valve all the way through, but the internals uh, going out of the valve internally with the distributor tube that carries the water within the tank is 1.25 inch. So you're gonna get 22 gallons per minute with that. Uh, the, uh, the Quantum is 15 because it's a three quarter inch valve. Uh, the Fleck, same. Uh, when you get to the, uh, the Colligan is the same. Uh, the one inch valve here uh, is going to be the pedal again. Uh, you're going to get that 50, 70 gallons per minute. Uh, spring well is a three quarter inch valve. Uh, so with that there, you're you're going to get your 15 gallons per minute. Uh, it looks like the clock, well, the, we know the clock is one inch. So 17 gallons per minute. Uh, Kinetico is three quarter, so you get a 15. Rate soft, uh, three quarter inch. So you're going to get 15 with that. Uh, the General Electric is 15 gallons per minute peak, and then you drop down to 10 gallons per minute on these other systems because the distributor tube size is smaller than three quarter inch. Um, so that takes care of that. Low voltage power, they all have it nowadays because they're all digital. So they're 1220 board volts. They all have backup batteries so you don't lose your programming for a certain amount of time of power it goes out. Brine safety float is for the brine tank that holds the salt. That's pretty important. Uh, if your injectors get plugged on, the, on your control valve or if you have a, a restriction in your drain line, the system will be able to pull water, uh, put water in the brine tank, but it won't be able to pull it out. So if that happens and you don't have a safety float, water can basically go all over your floor and create a salty water mess for you. Uh, the Soft Pro, the Gym Flow, and the Quantum come with it. The Flex generally comes with it. All these other systems across the board here uh, come with it. Uh, but then you end up getting into a couple where it's optional. So the spring well is optional. Uh, the clack is optional. Uh, and then when you get to the uh, the big box stores here, uh, you can see that they don't even include it except for the ream seems to include a float. Okay, that's a pretty important feature there. If it ever happens, you, you're, you're going to wish you had had that safety float. So uh, the brine grid, the brine grid keeps the salt from laying on the bottom of the brine tank. It helps it from bridging up. 
uh, being in hardened over the water. So that's a nice option to have. Uh, a lot of these other systems don't have them. Uh, customer support, I went over that earlier with you. Uh, the prices of the systems, they're all over the board here. When you're looking at prices, keep in mind high efficiency because the payback on the return on investment, uh, for instance, the SoftPro average uh, cost is $54 a year. These other systems, 117 across the board. There's a few that are a little less, but most of them are, you know, $117. A couple that are 86, like the GenFlow is 86. It uh, looks like the Culligan is also 86. So if you take this, same as a 54, a bunch of with the average across the board, that's over $50 a year savings. These systems last 10, 20, 30 years if they're good quality. Big box, not so much, but the rest of these, well. So that's a big savings for you. So you want to look at that. You know, 10 years at $50 is 500 bucks, right? So you either pay now or you pay later. So, um, of course, you know, everybody's on their own budget. You got to do what you got to do. But uh, if you can afford to pay more, you're better off to get the high efficiency system because it's going to keep on paying you once you gain that difference back. Okay. So I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, really appreciate the time here. And uh, thank you. and Have a great day.